Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for not uploading yesterday. I know I've been doing the daily thing pretty well, but I was just way too lazy to upload yesterday. Wasn't feeling very good, so I just didn't bother. Today I went doll hunting, though, and I didn't get to film an intro in the store. So, I'm doing that now. We found dolls. I looked for Sonic figures. That's right, I'm giving you a jump scare warning. I look at the Sonic section in this video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So starting off my doll hunt first, I checked the Monster High dolls. I always like to check for Frankie because there is a variant of Frankie where they have their coffee break screening, so I always check every single basic Frankie there is. And I didn't get lucky today. I didn't find the variant, and I just put everything back. I did see this Claudine again, the Creepover Party one. Still don't want her, and Twyla's as cute as ever. I also have been waiting for this pack to go on sale. I really wish I would. I want another Frankie from this set. It's They're so pretty. The car is cool as well, but I don't think I'd ever buy it. I also saw these Series 2 Shadow High dolls. They had all of them today. And then we move on to the Series 5 dolls. First, I found this Stray Victoria, and she looks so good. And then over past this pole is the rest of the Series 5 dolls. So they had a lot of Victoria, I noticed. They had so many of her, and I checked all of their faces, but none of them stood out to me as being like particularly, you know, like what I want. The dolls all look gorgeous, but I really want one that like speaks to me, one that I say, you know what, I need this one. And this one was the closest that I came, but then I noticed her body blushing was very lacking. So I ended up passing on her. This one I believe had much better body blushing though, and her face was cute, but I wasn't sure. This one was all right. And this one was probably my favorite, but I just didn't get her because I actually came looking for Olivia today. But we'll see Olivia when we get to her. I checked down here, but it was just Ainsley, and then I saw three Priscilla's. The one at the back was the prettiest to me. I don't know why, this one just stood out to me. I think her eye was wonky, but I liked her. This one was pretty as well, and so was the one at the front, but I don't know. Once again, Priscilla just doesn't really speak to me. She's cool, but not my favorite. And I ended up moving the one that I thought was prettiest to the front just because, I don't know, I wanted people to see her. Take a look at the wonky Priscilla and all her beauty. <laughs> She's cute, I like her. Then we see Kim with her disastrous bangs. She had a bald spot on this one. All the Kims I see are very questionable in terms of bang quality. Like this one looked pretty good. Her bangs were pretty solid. There was no bald spots. And then this one back here has the patchy bangs yet again where they're not really properly attached to each other and gelled down. Yeah. And then there was somebody's socks back there. So yeah, that was Kim. And then I saw Crystal. That uh, confused me. They had a lot of her too. Like there was at least four of her. Did they just find a case in the back? And then I found Olivia. I was super happy to see her, but I didn't end up buying this doll. And the reason is because when I took a closer look at her face, there was a spot on it, and this is gonna sound so dumb. I'll hone in on it later, but her face just bugged me. She was pretty, but I didn't want to buy her when she looked like that. Next up, I went looking for Sonic toys. I was looking for some new figures. There's been one of Super Silver and Jet, but unfortunately, all I found were two Tails and two Robotnik robot enemy things. I also found this plushie of Ray, and I also saw some of the new Mario movie toys. They look cool, they're interesting, but Peach looks a bit uncanny to me and she's the one I would want most, but I don't know, the way she looks just kind of bugs me. I also saw this little Sonic playset. I thought it was cute, but it wasn't what I was looking for. I don't know what those are. I then went looking for the um, Kid Robot Super Sonic plush. I found the Kid Robot Tails. He's super cute, but Tails is a character I don't really care much for. He's cute, but that's about it. They had two tails and no Sonic and no Knuckles, so yeah. And they especially did not have Super Sonic. I'm gonna go looking again tomorrow, but yeah, that was an unfortunate little detour in this doll hunt. Sorry, I'm a Sonic fan. And finally, I wrapped up the day by checking out the local Toys R Us in the town that I was in. All they had were budget dolls and everything was 10% off, but it wasn't enough to hold my interest. I was looking for Series 5 dolls, hoping they might be here, but this was all they had. Two measly little Series 1 Shadow High dolls, one Rainbow, well, two Maras. They had one Roxy. I decided to mess with her stand because this is a very dumb feature. Wanted to make fun of it. And then I just kind of started wandering around. This is all the brat stuff that they had. Five Dylans and some minis. It's 
it's all Dylan. I, I don't know why I checked, it was clearly all Dylan. So I continued looking around, hoping that maybe I would find some Sonic stuff here because, you know, may as well hope it wasn't all for nothing coming out here. But it was all for nothing. I wander around here and they had so much Mario stuff, but they don't have any Sonic stuff. It just feels unfair. I don't know. So yeah, I just kind of wandered around the aisles, hoping to find something. They had Pokemon stuff. They had Nerf guns. They had this. They just didn't have any Sonic stuff. I was pretty disappointed by it. So yeah, unfortunately there was nothing at Toys R Us and I just wandered aimlessly for a bit. That's what you're watching, me wandering aimlessly. I'm so glad that brand flopped. <laughs> uh, the Barbies were pretty unremarkable, and from here, I just left. So I wanted to elaborate on why I didn't buy Olivia. You guys know she's my favorite from the line and I've been wanting her for a while, but unfortunately, this was the only Olivia at my store. And yes, she did look perfect. Her edges were painted perfectly, her face looked really good. But there was just this little red spot on one side of her mouth and it looked like a pimple or a cold sore or something i don't know it just looked weird and since this was the only olivia there i really didn't want to commit to buying her when i wasn't fully happy with how she looked i feel like i could order one online and get a better doll or go to a different target i was just excited to see series 5 in person but i didn't want that excitement to overwhelm me and end up with a doll with a flaw that i didn't you know, didn't like. I didn't want to tolerate it. So yeah, I didn't buy Olivia. Of course, another interesting thing that I saw today was Crystal. I was kind of rushing while I was filming, so I didn't get a chance to like stop and question why she was there. But I don't know, for some reason, this Target specifically has been getting old dolls recently. Because you guys know Crystal came out in, God, was it 2020? Wow. <laughs> yeah, Crystal came out a long time ago. I think it was like late 2020, early 2021-ish when series two of Rainbow Eye came out. No, no, that feels kind of wrong. Maybe it was late 2021. I don't remember. But you know, those dolls have been out of circulation for a while. The only place people have really been finding them are like places that don't typically sell dolls and stock new ones, such as like Walgreens, maybe CVS. I don't know if CVS gets Rainbow High. But this store, for some reason, has been getting them. Like, I saw some Stellas over Christmas, and I didn't get any pictures, but they had broken boxes around the plastic, and one of them actually cut my finger. So that was fun. They also had some crystals then, but they all sold. But now she's back! They have a bunch more crystals. I don't understand where they're coming from. At this point, I kind of want to just bring in Bella's scanner and be like, hey, do you have this doll? I don't know. It'd be funny if they did. I also saw a lot of Kim and her dolls looked pretty funny to me just because of the vast difference in quality when it comes to her bangs and how they're cut. As I mentioned, some of them looked really messy and there was only one that really stood out as being good and the worst one had a whole bald spot showing. I actually showed that one to my mom and she laughed. She laughed at it. So Kim got laughed at by my mother. That's embarrassing. I'm kidding. Kim is pretty. I don't know. I've considered getting her because on one hand, if I redressed her into something that I did like, I would love her a lot. She's a pretty doll, for sure. It's just that her outfit is so unappealing that I would rather wait for a sale. And I was so disappointed that I didn't find Michelle today. I didn't even get to mention that in the clips because I was kind of rushing through it, but Michelle and Aiden were just totally absent. I would have brought their scanners up front, but I was in a rush, as I mentioned. That's why the video clips weren't that long, and I have to say all this stuff after the fact. But yeah, there was no Aiden, so I didn't get to make fun of him in person. There was no Michelle's, so I didn't get to pick one out and leave with her. I wanted to buy Michelle, but I couldn't. I didn't find her. Um, but yeah, Kim, she's pretty. And the only reason I realized Michelle and Aiden weren't there was because I actually off camera flipped Michelle's, not Michelle, Kim's box around. And then I remembered, oh my God, Michelle. <laughs> or no, was Aiden on the back of her box? I don't know. It was on the back of somebody's box. And I was like, oh my God, Michelle and Aiden. I totally forgot about them. So yeah, uh, was a bit disappointed that I didn't find Michelle bit disappointed that I didn't get to make fun of Aiden's whack-ass hairstyle in person, but it was fun to make fun of Kim. <laughs> Poor Kim. So I also forgot to film an outro. I'm so good at this. 
But yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Normally, I would put the stuff I bought here, but as I mentioned, I didn't buy anything. I'm gonna go doll hunting again tomorrow to my local Target, and hopefully I'll find a better Olivia there. But yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!